Glory to God on this blessed Monday morning, the year 2022. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we all should rejoice in it. Praise God for this day that he has given you and me. We don't know if we would make it through this whole day, but what we do know that right now, we are alive and we are awake and God has given us another opportunity. Do y'all hear me? Another opportunity to seek and find him. Not your jobs, not your careers, to seek and find him, to please the Lord in the name of Jesus. The sad thing about 2022 is a lot of us are still going to be doing the same things we did in 2021 without a change without understanding, without knowledge, without wisdom. The Lord says that his people perish with a lack of knowledge. A lot of us are still babes in Christ. We're still drinking Similax when we should be eating meat. But we choose to continue to drink and not chew and because we choose to drink and not chew we're missing out on a very very valuable part of our growing of our maturing you see it's up to us now if you want to continue on sipping Or do you truly want to start eating, getting fulfilled? You have a choice. And the thing is, God is such a gentleman. Jesus is such a gentleman that he don't force you to love him, to want him, to feed yourself off of him. You have to choose that for yourself. You have to want and desire him for yourself. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, today is the day that I make this change. Today is the day that I will not continue on thirsting. I will not continue on being hungry, but I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat today and I'm going to eat well. I'm going to be fulfilled today because God has handpicked me. And has given me another day, another opportunity. He has given me new mercies, new grace, a new beginning to start my life with him. Don't take this year for granted. There are people in hell right now. Wish that they could take your spot. Wish that they had an opportunity to just give it a chance over. To seek the Lord while they could. But it's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late to come back. It's too late to start over. Because once you go into that dark place. And miss out on your light. You stay in that darkness. People, you have to choose today whom you will serve. You cannot serve two masters. Whom will you choose? Where would your soul rest? In heaven or in hell? You have a choice. We have a choice. And as long as you have breath, 
within you, God is knocking at the door. Will you allow him in? Will you sub with him? Or would you keep on hardening your heart like Pharaoh did? Like a lot of the Pharisees did. It's time. We entering into some real dark, dark days. Some real changes need to be made. You need to grab your family as if your house is on fire. It is time to speak the word of God to them like never before. Whether they believe you, whether they listen, whether you lose them in your life. It doesn't matter. Speak life into them. Speak warnings into them. Speak the word of God into them because that's the only way they can have life. Whether they choose it or not, you did what you needed to do. So when that day come and they have made their choice, you can feel good about yourself and know that you tried everything that you could. You told them everything that you could. Everything. Don't leave nothing out. Tell them. Tell them. Even if they throw up your past. Remember who you are today. You no longer live as that old person. You are new in Christ Jesus. The word of God said. Take my yoke. And learn of me. For I am meek. And lowly. Take. His yoke. And learn. For his yoke is easy. And his burdens are light. Hold on. 2022. It's going to be something like never before in our life have we ever seen. If you look around you today, everything that's going on in this world is very evil, very demonic. And if you can't see that, then you are truly blind. If you can't see what's going on to the world today then you are truly blind. Some of you may say, I don't watch the news. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know it. But that's not going to change anything. That's not going to change what's going to happen. You need to know. You need to have your eyes open. You need to be looking to the heavens. You need to be looking to the hills because that's where our help comes from. No one on this earth can help you. No one. You have to seek Jesus. And there is only one way to God is through Jesus. Seek him while he may be found. Not everyone is going to heaven, y'all. Don't fool yourself. You need to get a relationship with Christ Jesus right now. This could be your season like never before if you allow God in your life. And I'm not saying that things will be easy. And I'm not just saying you're just going to walk through with joy. But let me tell you that with God, no matter what you're going through, the joy can be in your heart. Amen. Once you seek Jesus, no matter how hard it is, 
what struggles you may be facing with Jesus, your burdens are light. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. For he is so worthy to be praised. Jesus love you. I love you. But Jesus love you more. He died on the cross. To, to give us eternal life. Don't repay him by turning your back on him. Because he's the only one that can save your life. He's the only one that can save my life. It's time to be bold soldiers. Wake up. Accept your calling today. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. May God be with us all. Stay focused. Stay focused. Our Redeemer is near. And the enemy is busy like never before. Pick who you would choose today. I'll start first. I choose Jesus. Glory to God. I am a child of God. I am not ashamed to say that I am a true Christian and that I love Jesus Christ. Wherever he go, I will follow. He said that they hated him first and so that they will hate me. So if you hate me, you hate me. Amen. But I still love you. Guess what? They beat Jesus, but he still loved them. He still loved you. He still loved us. Despite of. Praise his holy name. Let's be lovers. How Jesus loved. Love your neighbor. Love your enemy. Love those that seek to harm you in the name of Jesus. For God is so worthy to be praised. Now here I am. I'm a Christian and I don't take that lightly. I don't say I'm a Christian just to say I'm a Christian. I say I'm a Christian because I live as a Christian. I do a little jokes and have a little fun because joy is laughter for the soul. But my realness is with Christ. My heart is with Christ. My love is for Christ. Despite of what people may say, be careful who you put your mouth on. Be careful who you speak negative about because you don't know you don't know how God think of them. Amen. So be careful with your judgments on who you believe is truly Christians. Amen. You would know them by their fruits, the word of God say. If you have any fault with your brothers and sisters, go to them. Don't talk about them. Go to them. They may need a little help. Maybe they got a little off. Maybe they fell off a little bit. Amen. Try to help them before you down them. In the name of Jesus. It's time for brothers and sisters to stand together as one. God bless you. J-O-E-T. And that meaning... Jesus over everything. Glory to God. Bless you.